It's time for round five of the Bank Battle of the Boxes for Nichols. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure. We have another Bank Box Battle Series. This is round five for the Nickel Battle. I'm pretty excited about this. I've checked them for enders. We do have an ender and it's right here inside the Wells Fargo. It's a confirmed. I'll pull it out real quick so you guys can see it, but it's most definitely, definitely a war nickel. You can't see the date just yet, but I believe the bottom and it looks like it's gonna be a 1943, I kind of took a peek. See it? Could be a 45, but I think that's a 43. So hopefully it's a 43D. We'll save that box for last though, because it's got guaranteed silver in it. We're gonna kick it off a chase, move to B of A, and go to Wells Fargo last. Now Wells Fargo needs some help, because it is third place at 26 points a box. Chase is actually leading the way at 31.4, but Bank of America had such a nice box last time, it made up some ground, and it's at 28.3. Like I said, I checked for enders. All I can do on this one is kind of just peek in. I don't see anything. We're gonna get right into this hunt, and as always, I'll loop you in when I find something worth showing. Roll number five. We've already found a 1954D, and check this guy out right here. That's a 1938. Can it have a D or an S mint mark? Let's take a look. It's a 1938 D. Wow. That's a great coin. It's one of the key dates right there. It's not in the greatest condition, obviously, but I'm not picky. I'll take key dates in any condition. 1938 D in the fifth roll of the box. Roll 10 of the Chase Bank box. We're going to have our first 40s nickel. A 1941 Denver as well. Roll 13. We've got a 1946 Philadelphia. Roll 14. Got a 1941. I already saw the front. Denver. Roll 18. Another 40s nickel. A 46 Denver. Roll 22, we have got ourselves a 1949. Does it have a mint mark? It does, it's a 49D. So that's kind of a semi-key date. Let's see if it has the era variety that's the 49D over S. No, I don't think so. We'll get a closer look at it and see if we see anything up really close. Hmm. Interesting for sure. I've looked at it under the loop. It's just some damage at the D. It's not the 49D over S, but still, not a bad find. Roll 31. Gonna have another 40s nickel here. 1947, Denver. Roll number 41. And we're going to have another 40s nickel. This one's a 1940 Philadelphia. We're on roll 42, guys. And I just uncovered something that could be ridiculous. That's a 1950. Not only is it a key date, I've only ever found one 1950D and a handful of 1950Ps. I'm hoping this has a mint mark on it. And I'm hoping it's from Denver. Wow, it looks pretty good too. Oh my goodness. Look at this 1950D. Nineteen fifty D. It's got some pretty good scratches. But you know what? Yeah, see the gouges right there above the word sense? That's going to keep it from being mint state from, in my opinion. But other than that, it's pretty clean on the back. Wow. Let me get my red book out and show you how special a 1950D really is. 
1950 D, they only made 2.63 million. MS60 is 14 bucks. 63 is 16. 25 for MS65. Again, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is more like AU55. But either way, it's at least worth 10 or so bucks. It's pretty clean besides a few gouges. Yeah, that's going to go either in my book if it upgrades the one in there or it's going in a 2x2. Two two. Holy cow, a 1950 Denver in the box. Roll number 47, got another 40s nickel here. 1941, Philadelphia. Roll number 49, and we've got another 40s nickel. A 1941, 1941 Philadelphia. I'm only showing this, guys, because it's a 2009, and it's my first of the box, rule 49. I thought I was going to have actually a nickel box where I didn't find one, but we did. Well, we finished that Chase nickel box, guys, and even though it doesn't have a ton of finds, we got two key dates. We got a 38 Denver. We got a 1950 Denver, and look at the coins. It's the best-looking coin out there. Unbelievable. We also got a 52S, and I just pulled in the last roll, a 52D, which is one of the semi-keys. So we got two key dates, two semi-key dates, nine from the 50s, nine from the 40s, a 38D, and a 2009. Wow. All right. First box is down. Thanks very much, Chase. You did me proud. Now let's move on to Bank of America and see if they can have another great box like last time. These nickel boxes might be great, guys. Very first roll, the Bank of America box. And I've got another semi-key here. A 1951D. Only 20 million made. Wow. That's a banging start as well. And we've already uh, put that bad boy in a 2x2. Two two. Roll number four. Gonna have a 40s nickel here. 1946, Philadelphia. Roll number eight. A 1948. Roll 17. Check it out. Didn't get it by the edges, but we've got a 44 war nickel. What mint? Philadelphia. Can't believe it. Found some silver. First of the box. We're early on. Could be more. We're on roll 27, guys. And um, look what I just found. That is an AU or even MS 1939. This thing is nice. Will it have a mint mark? Can it be another key date? It's not, but wow. There's no full steps, but it's a beautiful coin nonetheless. Same roll, 1948D. Roll 32. Got a Warren Slick 1940. I saw the date when it fell. Roll 34 and uh, check out this foreign cent. Or foreign coin, I should say. Is it old? No, not really. 1991. Helvetica. Really cool, though. Foreign find. Roll number 38, we've got another foreign coin here. Unbelievable. This one's from Bermuda, and it's got the fish on the back. I found that before as well. Two foreigns in one nickel box. Crazy. Roll number 40, guys, and this Bank of America box just keeps producing. Just grabbed the first coin, pulled it down as the second one fell. Look what I see behind it. We've got a buffalo. Is there a mint mark under the five cents? There is not. Is there a date? There is. 1936 Buffalo. Wow. We've got a silver and a Buffalo and a semi-key date. If we got a proof, we would have the uh, trifecta here. Same roll. Got a 1949. Is it a D? It is not. We'll take it though. Roll 48, guys, and um, we're going to have our second 1939 of the box. Can this one have a mint mark on it? 
it doesn't. And compared to the other 39, it's a far cry, although it's still a pretty nice 39. Well, the boxes keep getting better because this Bank of America box definitely beat that Chase box, guys. We got 11 from the 50s, including pretty semi-key 51D. We got six from the 40s, including a 44 Philadelphia Mint War Nickel. We got two in the 30s, both 39Ps, but one is absolutely stunning. We got a 36P Buffalo Nickel, two foreigns, and six 2009s. Holy cow, that's a lot of finds. Don't get me wrong, I love finding a 50D, my second ever, but this box on the point scale will probably edge it out or, or beat it since it got so many finds. That being said, can Bank of America win its second round of the Bank Battle Box Series? Or does Wells Fargo, with its Silver War Nickel Ender, have something to say about it? Roll number five of the Wells Fargo Box, and look at this. Another 39. We've got a lot of possible good old Jeffersons today. Is there a mint mark on this 39? There is not. It is tough to find a 39D or a 39S for sure, but a 30s nickel on the board and an 09. Roll number 17, gonna have a 40s nickel here and it's a 1949 again. Is there a D? There is a D. So I need to check it for the D over S. It's not the D over S, but it's still a 40s nickel. Roll number 19, gonna have a 40s nickel here. 1941. Philadelphia. We're on roll 26 of the box, and this is that silver wartime nickel ender. I believe it's a 43. Let me get it out of the roll and see what it is. It's definitely a 43, and you would have noticed this by the edge all day. Hopefully it's a 43D, 15 million minted. Let's see. Nope. It's just a 43S. Had it been the 43 P, we could have checked for the three over the two over date. We could have checked for the uh, double die I, but it's the one that has no varieties known. So we'll still take it. It is silver and it was in the box. Roll number 28, gonna have a 1948 Philadelphia. Just laid out roll 47 and I think I spy a Canadian nickel. 1982, first four nickel of the box. Well, we finished hunting the Wells Fargo nickel box and it was definitely the lightest of all the boxes. We found a 1939 Philadelphia, which is good. We got one, two, three, four nickels in total. One is a 1943S silver nickel. I'll take that for sure. We did find one, two, three, four, five from the 50s. One's a 51, but it's not the D. It's just the Philadelphia Mint. On top of that, we did find four more 09s and a foreign. And I've got three pretty nice coins I want to check against my album just to make sure. I don't know if they upgrade, but I always check them one time before I discard them. I have a feeling that the Bank of America box won it with Chase coming in second and Wells Fargo coming in third. Of course, to be official, we got to plug it into the stat sheet. All right, everyone, we've got the final scores into the sheet and it kind of fell in order here. Wells Fargo held up the tail with 22 points. Better than its last box, but just not enough for the 50s and 40s to score big. Did get a war nickel though, so I can't get too mad at it. Chase Bank did pretty good as well. Tied its last box at 31 points, so not too bad. And it did find us that 1950D. B of A has now won back-to-back -back boxes with another solid 42 and a half point box. Ridiculous. So now it is actually on the heels of Chase. Halfway through the hunt of the 10 box hunt I'm doing on this series, out of the five boxes, it's at 31-3 for Chase, 31-1 for B of A, and Wells Fargo's got its work cut out for it at 25-2. Hopefully you're enjoying the Battle of the Bank series for both the nickels this time, as well as the pennies that I'm doing. If you are, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, Happy hunting, and thanks for watching.